Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to help the Nevula with a Guild Toss skill. So here she says, um, is there some way to implement the Guild Toss skill from Final Fantasy, like where you can decide a specific amount of money and minus the amount you choose from the party's in, uh, HP, the enemy's HP rather, or at least do like 25% damage of the total money you choose to throw at the enemy? I've been curious if you could help me or if you know some way to create it. So the Nebula, let me show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. I tried to make it so that it would do a damage pop-up, but after failing a lot of JavaScript stuff, all kinds of different stuff, I figured, well, you're going to input a number, so the player's going to know how much damage it's doing. So we're going to go to our skills first. And we're going to put in uh, a name, icon, description, call it coin toss, guild toss, whatever you like. You can make it whatever skill type you like or whatever other cost you'd like it to have. I would recommend going with the Cajun battle screen. And you can do a scope all enemies or one enemy. It's up to you. Make it the type of certain hit, but don't give it, give it any animation because the way we're doing it with a common event, uh, it'll show the animation and then it'll ask you how much coins you want to throw. And it doesn't look right if you put the animation here. So go none for here, but we'll create an animation for it. And what I've done to make an animation for coin toss is I've taken uh, the Pierce Special one animation. I've copied it. And then I went to a free space. And I pasted it down here, called it coin toss. Changed all the... I got rid of some of the sound effects and flashes. And I changed the remaining ones from slash to coin. So I kept the win one and then I changed these to coin so we get that coin toss sound. So, um, that's pretty much it for this. We're going to make a common event, but before you're able to call the common event, we'll have to make it. So let's go to our common events, create a new common event, call it guild toss. We're going to control a variable, so we're going to uh, do a right click, insert new control variable on page one. Click on the three dots and call it guild count. You can make another one called guild toss number because we're going to need that, but select guild count for this one. We're going to set it to the game data of gold. So we'll click right here and select gold. And then we're going to do a conditional statement that says if that gold count is greater than zero. So we'll do a conditional branch with an else else branch. And we'll, we'll select that variable, guild count greater than zero. Inside of that, we're going to show text saying uh, you currently have and do a forward slash V. And in brackets, we're going to put this number right here. So whatever variable you use for your gold count, you're going to put that number in these brackets. And then we're going to do a, a slash with a G, and that's going to show the coin. So it'll tell you you have however many coins in your inventory, and then it'll say your whatever you used in your system for coins. Then we're going to do an input number. So this is on uh, page one. Uh, input number. You can select the number of digits that you wanted to have. I've selected four. And we're going to use our second variable that we created for this one. So if you haven't created it yet, you can do so. Call it guild toss number or coin toss number or input number, whatever you want to call it. Give it however many digits you like. Inside of that, we're going to do another conditional branch that checks to see if the guild toss number is greater than zero. We're going to create an else branch on that one as well. Inside that, we're going to do our third conditional branch. So in this one, we're going to say, is the guild count greater than or equal to the guild toss number variable with an else branch. So underneath that, we're going to show battle animation. Now this is different from show animation because the show animation will not work in combat and we're going to need this in combat. So show battle animation is on tab three on battle, show battle animation and use that uh, battle animation that we just created. And then you're going to have to copy that and paste that. So you're going to select enemy two this time, copy, paste it again, enemy three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Real easy to copy paste, change that one thing. Then we're going to change our gold. So we're basically next to change items. So change golds on tab one. And instead of selecting a, a set number, we're going to use a variable. So not a constant, but we're going to use guild toss number for this. So we're going to decrease it by our guild toss number. And now if you wanted it to do 25% damage, so say you throw a thousand coins and you want that to do 250 damage, here's where you control that. After you've taken the gold, you do a control variable of the guild toss number and you divide that number by four. If you want it to be the same amount, you can ignore this whole step. If you want it to do half, you would divide by two. And you can control this variable multiple times right here to get the exact percentage that you want. Underneath that, we're gonna do a change enemy HP. 
so that's on tab three I believe change enemy HP right here and we're gonna select entire troop if you want it to be uh, all otherwise you're gonna have to do this for uh, however many you want uh, actually this is gonna be difficult to do if you don't do uh, where it, it, it hits all the enemies so you would have to set all enemies and do entire troop for this method and then decrease by the gill toss number variable we're also going to allow knockout so that this will do damage that will kill them on the else handler this is if they input a number that's higher than the amount of gold they have in their inventory then you basically copy all of this and paste it but instead of gill uh, toss number we're gonna change this gold by the gill count so we're gonna subtract the amount of gold that they currently have so if they have 5,000 and they said 6,000 well we're not gonna be able to subtract 6,000 instead we're just gonna subtract 5,000 and then we're gonna do our variable manipulation on the gill count number instead of gill toss number and then uh, we're going to change enemy HP by the gill count number which is their maximum amount. So if they have 5,000 and they input a number of 6,000, it's still going to take 5,000 gold and it's going to do 5,000 damage or, or divided by 4, however you want it to do. Um, that way they're not going to be able to have one coin and do 9999. This is your, uh, your way to stop them from exploiting your system. And then that's going to end that first condition. On the second condition, uh, this is when they have gold, but they input 0. So you're going to say you toss an imaginary handful of coins, but it has no effect, and that's all that's going to happen. Uh, on the last one, this is when they have zero coins and they try to use the skill. It's going to say you're out of coins. And that's it. We'll go back to our skills. We'll do that. Uh, we'll go to other common event. Call on that common event that we just created. Skill toss. And once that's in there, we'll apply and we'll give the skill to one of our actors on the classes or something. And let's take a look at it in combat. Let's get some coins real quick. So we got 5,000 coins. Do our coin toss. Let's say we'll do 1,000. Should be enough to kill these bats. But it wasn't because we've divided by four, so it only did 250 damage. But see, we had 5,000. We do our gill toss, and it, now it says we have 4,000. Let's try to do 2,000. So that added another 500 damage. Um, another thing that we can do at the end of it is to set it to zero. You saw how on the second time using it, it went back to 250. So that showed you how much damage you just did. You could leave it like that, or if you wanted to default back to zero, what you can do uh, in that common event at the very bottom is to control variables and set the gill count to zero and set the other one as well, the gill toss number back to zero. So when the next the next time you control that uh, you run this event, it'll start with zero. I actually like having it so that it shows how much damage it did with the division account. So I take these out, but you can have it set back to zero if you want to. So hopefully you like this tutorial. Thank you for the special request. If you have any more special requests, leave them below. Uh, leave a comment below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys for being awesome. Thank you guys for watching this. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this sort of content. We will see you guys in the next tutorial.